There. That's it. That's him. Oh, here we go again. You get to see me in all my glory. I'm doing a string of videos right now. It's in the morning. And Mr. Warnock again is presently in the building, whether you like it or not. So you got two things to do. You either, you either watch the video or you can turn it off and die. It don't matter to me, bro. Let me go in. Today I'm going to talk about a sensitive topic because it has something to do with the Speaker of the House. Now, the Speaker of the House lives in the state that I moved to. I'm in Ohio right now. I'm only here because of the jobs. So don't get it twisted. It wasn't for the sandy beaches. Now, Boehner needs to get out of there. Boehner needs to tie it. It's, it's the lack of leadership that he is showing right now. The only thing he can do is bash Obama. That's it. Well, anybody, any Republican candidate can do that. But it's the lack of the leadership from Boehner that is why the GOP is suffering. He has lost control of the GOP because of his unwillingness to deal with the Tea Party. That is why the, the Tea Party and a lot, of, a lot of Republicans right now, whether they say they are or not, a lot of Republicans are scratching their head. You know why? Because of the lack of leadership. And where does the lack of leadership begin? The lack of leadership begins at the top. It begins with Boehner. Boehner needs to either put his big boy pants on and get in the game, or Boehner needs to set set aside and let somebody who isn't from the Tea Party, who has the cojones, to do what they have to do to get in the office. You know, the, the, the blind is leading the blind right now, but the brand is in terrible shape, bruh. You know, the GOP gets blamed, whether undeservedly or deservedly, for the shutdown, whether you like it or not. As most Americans, as I've said before, and have polls have showed, blame you guys for the, for the GOP. Now, let me put it this way. I have voted for the Republicans in the past, and I believe with a lot of their principles. So I'm going to put that on the table. I believe on the stances about marriage and marriage, divorce, you know, what's the, what the definition of it. I believe in all that with them. But the fact of the matter is, Boehner does not have the leadership to lead the GOP into the upcoming years. All he can do is say, well, the president needs to think again that he wants to get Obamacare past this time. What about the wackos running your, you running your camp, in your camp there? Whenever Texas wants to succeed, succeed from the union, succeed from the union, where were you at as far as leadership? You should have sat down with the TLP wackos and said, hey, look, man, you're ruining the brand. You, you should have said, look, you, what's going on here? You should have made, you should have done something to show that you are in control. But you know what? You're not in control. The inmates are running the ship. And as far as I'm concerned, unless he does a drastic turnaround within the next six months, the House needs to choose somebody else other than, well, the House Republicans need to choose somebody else to get in front of that microphone and speak other than give nice little sandy speech, you know what I mean, little soft speeches other than Boehner. No, he's in a leadership position, but he's unable to unite the party, and that's the problem which you guys should have with him. So, I'm out. And if you don't believe me, look it up. What, what has Boehner done? I know a lot of people are mad at me for saying it, but it's the truth. What has Boehner done to unite the party? If the party's united, Tea Party. Peace. There. That's it. That's him.